Hello, Dean. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Dean. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for uh, talking about Bill and Dick. <laughs> well, I know I don't have you for very long, so I'm going to just pick your brain unmercifully about this movie. Um, so, first off, the thing that I really took from this was right now with the world in a lot of flux, 40 and 50-somethings like my, myself are feeling like their lives weren't where they really thought they would be right now. Um, in, in this film, really, you know, kind of... How does it reach the people who started this journey with Bill and Ted and to where we are now? How can they relate to this? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that, that the message of Bill and Ted is, is exactly the same, which is to be excellent to each other. And, and as, I mean, that's when we first started trying to make this, we, we were in a, a, you know, a moment in history where it was starting to get divisive. Um, but then when you add all the rest that's happened in the meantime, I don't you know, it wasn't our intention to make a movie for this time, but it does feel um, like it, it speaks to this time more than we ever expected it to, and, and that's unfortunate. But um, it's, um, you know, as, as I said to somebody else, the thing that, that intrigued me the most was the last sentence uh, of the movie, which is it's not the song so much as it is playing it together. Um, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, it's a, an hour and a half of relief during a, a moment of uh, uh, pandemic horror. Yeah, and and I I absolutely it was it was so great to see them together again, and and to see just you know you brought you brought something great to the, the characters in. Um, so one thing I wanted to, to, to talk to you about was, you know, also the underlying theme to this film is really finding out who you are and accepting yourself. Um, I, you know, how did you work on that? Because I know it was a process to get to making the third film, but you, what you do with your films with sci-fi and comedy is you really put a lot of heart to them. Can you talk about using the genre like that into how you wanted to kind of talk to that aspect of it, that core of the film? Um, well, I, I think I'm not quite sure. Um, uh, I suppose I'm, I'm, a, I'm attracted to um, ludicrous characters in, in tragic, <laughs> tragic uh, circumstance. Um, I, I like, um, I like, Characters who are um, human, um, and so um, I, I have something. Uh, I want to have something I, I, I understand about them, so that I, I have a. It's not a black and white situation uh, for anybody. We're all kind of a mess as human beings, and, uh, and nobody's perfect. And that's what I like is the imperfection. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's uh, it. it Comedy is often um, based on tragedy. Um, the two go hand in hand. Uh, what's Woody Allen's famous quote? Tragedy plus time. But I, I think uh, I think this movie and these characters, especially um, the essence of these guys, is what uh, what I love. They're, they're they're the best friends ever. They're, that's never uh, in question, um, and they're ludic ludicrously. Um, optimistic and um, uh, they sort of never give up um, I, those qualities are the best you know the best you can hope for for, for human beings you know and they're, so they're, they're, I mean, there's a childlike quality to it which I love as well well and one thing that I, I absolutely love is the comedy and the fact that Alex and Keanu just came together like there had not been a time frame in between. Uh, can can you talk about them just sort of becoming like this wonderful buddy comedy duo again? And was there any kind of improvisation that happened on set, or was that just all script? Um, the, the, we kept working on the script because we were. Uh, I was, you know, Abby and Chris wrote the script eleven years ago on spec. Um, and uh, and then Ke and Keanu and Alex came on board, and then I came on board with Scott Cruz, 
Well, I was on it for seven years. Um, so it developed a lot, which gave us the chance to talk about it a lot. Um, and uh, to talk about the, the approach and who the characters were and how they were going to be in middle age. But really the credit goes to uh, Keanu and Alex. Um, they're just uh, wonderfully gifted uh, talents. I mean, they're, they're filmmakers and actors and um, consummate professionals. And they, they really, I, I really was just there to watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they were uh, quite brilliant in everything they did. So I'm I'm basically their audience. Um, and so uh, when I'm reacting, when I'm not reacting well, they'll go, well, what? No, no, well, it seems like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's off they go. It's not, they really are uh, quite incredible. And they're best friends in real life. I mean, just that connection is just there. Uh, you can't, you can't get rid of it. But they're, their chemistry together is filled with love and, and yeah, So what was, um, so I asked a couple of people to give me some questions for, from fans for this. And uh, one named Aaron asked me um, to find out from you, what was important to, was it important to match the tone of the first two Bill and Ted films? And what was the challenge in doing that so many years removed from them? Because as you said, there was uh, ongoing changes to the script and it did take like a, over almost a decade or more to, to get to this point. It, it did. I mean, it's, it's core uh, story didn't really change, but you know, we were rewriting scenes and, and talking about it, but I, I the challenge was, I mean, I can't think of a film off the top of my head that was made 29 years ago and you continue the story with the same people um, <laughs> again. That's uh, a challenging thing. But we needed to contemporize it and make it at this time. Um, and, you know, they're middle-aged, so they had children and families and disappointments um, and so there's, it's maybe a little more grounded than the original. The, the film language, hopefully, is, is, is uh, more of this time than of the late 80s, early 90s. Um, the, 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 the visual effects are, have changed, so you can create a more a believable adventure universe of this time. Um, and even um, even con the, the comedy of it has changed slightly. It's... it's, it's, it's uh, level of absurdity comes from playing it straight very often rather than uh, jokes. It comes out of character. Um, and uh, that's true of the originals, but um, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's slightly, we had to slightly bend it to this time. Uh, and it works because it's not a story of teenagers anymore. You know? Exactly. Well, one thing I wanted to ask you, because I know I'm about to lose you, but um, I wanted to come back to this because I, uh, Galaxy Quest is one of the most beloved movies of the last couple of years. I mean, you you created something beautiful with that, and and I I see the heart of that within Bill and Ted Three, where you took this this the comedy and the and the com camaraderie. Uh, and made it something really special and sweet and with a lot of heart. And um, I just wanted to uh, thank you for that and ask you, you know, were you, uh, you know, here you are again. You're, you're, you, with that, you homage Star Trek, you homage these Space 1999, those kind of, of series. Um, how is it for you to be working in science fiction again in, in something that's so beloved? Well, it's, it, this is the most fun I've I've had some galaxy quest. <laughs> this, this is a really fun movie to make. We we uh, we were on the, the first part is that we're all on the same boat together. Um, this is a very talented group, and and I absolutely love them all. So we we uh, we were always making the same movie, which is um, the first thing that you know we're all committed to it. I think uh, we if we weren't, we couldn't have lasted the eleven years. But I think. Um, uh, you know, I, I I love characters who are uh, flawed and um, uh, put into situations that they can't at first handle, um, and and I I I think uh, comedy comes from character. I mean, the comedies I like are character stories; they're not 
jokes. And so um, uh, that's what Bill and Ted was. Um, at the heart of Bill and Ted is those two characters who are best friends and love each other, and they're trying to uh, get their way through the world, um, albeit in a, in a ridiculous fashion. But um, you, know, you can't help loving those characters, I think. Well, Dean, thank you so, so much uh, for taking the time. Thank you for bringing them back. I grew up with Bill and Ted. I uh, It just means a lot to see them there and to see that they haven't changed. They are still just as awesome as they ever have been. So thank you for that. And thank you again from my heart and from uh, all the people I know out there for Galaxy Quest too, because I know you know that movie means a lot to people. So do Bill and Ted. And uh, you've gifted us with some great stuff from them. Oh, thank you. It's very, very kind and sweet of you. I appreciate it very much.